The search for missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 continues two weeks after it first disappeared. But you may be wondering how it could be so difficult to find a commercial airliner given modern day technology. This is how Malaysia's transport minister explained it. Generally, conditions in the southern corridor are very challenging. In the area where the possible objects were identified by the Australian authorities, there are strong currents and also rough seas. But it's not just the currents working against searchers. The search area itself presents even more challenges. The search zone, first based on those Australian satellite photos, is in one of the most remote corners of the globe, four hours from land. The eight-hour round trip only allows for a couple of hours of aerial search during the day. CBS reports crews are also battling Mother Nature. The weather has not been kind. Winter is approaching, making the South Indian Ocean rough, the skies cloudy. On top of nature's obstacles, the technology searchers hope to use to find the plane has an expiration date. CNN says the flight recorder only sends out a locating tone for 30 days, and that signal hasn't been picked up yet. If the plane is in the water, the recorders may have sunk far from where any debris on the surface drifted. The water in the southern Indian Ocean can be 13,000 feet deep. Search crews have already covered nearly 3 million square miles of water. To put that into perspective, that's almost the size of the continental United States. The Chinese government released a satellite image of a third object floating in the Indian Ocean. ABC reports the object is about 75 miles southwest of where two other objects were spotted. For Newsy, I'm Meg McLeod.